As an owner of a Bamboo Labs P1S, the uh, recent firmware changes that Bamboo is kind of bringing upon the community and the response to the community backlash about it, uh, which is kind of not in the right spirit, makes me not want to ever recommend this printer to anyone again. I, I already knew, like, people are like, oh, we saw the warning signs, you know, Bamboo is not deep into the open source printing community and all that. Yes, I, everybody saw that Bamboo is not, like, the most open source player in the game and that, uh, you know, there's there was potential for if they wanted to do annoying things like change your features of your printer after you buy it, they could do that. And this firmware update is kind of doing that. Uh, if you, they, they have the ability and they kind of backtracked after the backlash and they said now there's a developer mode that lets you have more control over your printer on the LAN. You still have to use their app to set up the printer, which is kind of ridiculous. Like, Buying a printer and then having to sign into any cloud service just to start using it is dumb. And I said that in my video when I set this up. These bamboo printers are great hardware, very good hardware. Probably like it, it changed the game for me for printing, how fast it was. It's not always the perfect print, but it's very fast, very reliable. You get a good print every time. And uh, uh, over here, you can see there's uh, undergoing uh, a little maintenance. I'm going to be upgrading the Mark IV to a Mark IVs at some point. And that was provided by uh, Prusa, but this was not. I bought the MK MK4S upgrade kit. So, of course, you know, you can put whatever bias you want into uh, into that. Uh, but I, I paid happily 700 bucks for this kit with the AMS, and I their system is great. The, the AMS system works amazing for me. Now I'm considering what printer should I recommend if somebody's like, I want to get into 3D printing, and I might go back to Creality again. It's like... You need a low, low price uh, budget printer that is reliable enough and doesn't cause tons of frustration. And Creality has been pretty good about that. Uh, you know, Prusa doesn't have that answer, like a, a low cost printer that you can just get started with. You buy the printer, set it down and start printing. Their printers, you buy them, set them down and start printing, but they're a lot more expensive. You know, Bamboo is kind of that company, but if they're gonna pull these tricks where you buy a printer and then a few months later a firmware update comes out and takes away features that you either relied on or at least wanted to have available, that's no good for me. I don't know, I, I just wanted to make a quick video about this because I know a lot of creators in the 3D printing space or in even the, in the tech space who've taken sponsorships from Bamboo, they might not legally be allowed to say things uh, like I'm saying about Bamboo, because it might be part of their contract. They might have a 90-day clause of non-disparagement or something. Uh, but I never took one of those. I bought this thing. And, and also with Prusa, I never signed any agreements with them or anything. If I want to say that they're trash, I can say that. That's, that's how I operate my YouTube channel. I'm not saying that that's, it's wrong to do it any other way, but I'm just saying like some people might not be able to say anything about this situation because of a contract they've signed. I hope that Bamboo understands like if they do not completely backtrack and stop being disingenuous with the way that they react to the community outlash, then I am never going to recommend one of these things. I'm going to keep using it until they completely destroy my ability to use it, but you know, it's I'm not encouraged to buy another one of these things. I even have the uh, Panda Touch and I love in their blog posts they're like, well we told them not to use this interface that works great because it might not someday and it's like, well if you give an interface like that, people are going to hack your printer like not in a good way, not in a bad way. Although people are now hacking the printer in in bad ways to make it so that people like me can actually use them in the future. BTT, the company that makes this Panda Touch, they are a great company in the 3D printer game, and they they make a ton of accessories that make this printer more exciting to use, more interesting, and better. And if a company like Bamboo sees that kind of response and says you shouldn't do this because it's undocumented, or you shouldn't do this because you know you didn't. You didn't pay the piper or whatever, or because we want to have control over that. That's the wrong response. I don't know. I, I think that they think that the 3D printing community, which I'm like an adjacent member of it. I'm not a 3D printer, but I 3D print a lot of things. I think that they think the 3D printing community has completely changed and it's not, you know, not a bunch of makers who are not in full control over the, the products that they buy. But, you know, the, this this reminds me so much of HP trying to lock down their printers to like their ink in the name of security. We, we can't have third party ink because that could damage the printer or something. They're, they're saying it's all about security and people sending print jobs to printers and controlling printers remotely and things. And it's like every IoT device has these problems and there are way better ways to secure things than by locking out access or making it harder to access or requiring their cloud 
to be integrated into whatever software you're using? That's not the right answer. Um, it should be local by default, and cloud is an add-on. If they come back and, and have a little bit more of a humble attitude about this, maybe I'll be more excited, and maybe I'll rethink my decision to never recommend one of their printers again. But at this point, I was extremely happy with this purchase. There were only a couple things I didn't like about it, but now I don't think I'll be recommending one of these again, and uh, I probably won't buy another one. So that's too bad.